Mission Cat in New York, I'm on a mission to talk to 914 people in the 914. They ran Corona on Hudson at the Edge VR to try the world's first magnetically tracked full body VR experience. So let's give it a shot. No need to be in the middle, just keep pushing forward. are you from and what are some of your memories? So I'm from here, Croton on Hudson. I uh, was raised, born here in Croton. Um, Croton, very small community, diverse community of, of um, artists and, and musicians themselves and, and uh, just creative people. Um, love the town, been here my whole life. I have other businesses also in town and, and um, love the community, love the people. Um, you know, some of my Favorite memories of Croton are, are probably right here um, at Sinesqua, um, Croton Point. Uh, I just love uh, hiking the trails and, and biking. Um, the restaurants are fabulous. Love love Westchester in, in general for its its large um, amount of, of, of diverse restaurants. Uh, and there's there's just a, an enormous amount of entertainment. Uh, venues in, in the area. Okay. I kind of, I kind of think that this is uh, becoming a little bit more like um, a, a Silicon Alley instead of a uh, you know, Silicon Valley. Uh, <laughs> I like to think this is a Westchester is a, is a tech community, it's starting to be a little bit more of a tech community. So I do like the the fact that there's a, a large tech um, following, and part of the reason why I did all this. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So talk a little bit about yourself, who you are, and where we are right now. So. My name is Adam, I'm the CEO and founder of the Edge VR. Edge VR is a entertainment technology company. Uh, we created one of the world's first magnetically tracked VR systems, full body VR systems, um, here in this very studio. Uh, it was designed to immerse our guests in a way that's never been achieved before. Uh, we built a, an experience around it called the Edge of Space so that our participants can you know, get the full impact of, of how this technology works. And then we, of course, built this immersive uh, retail space so that people could, um, could come and enjoy it as a family and friend uh, and friends together uh, inside it. Uh, we do have two setups uh, here that we currently do. We're looking to expand into other areas of Westchester and beyond. Um, my passion for mixing entertainment and technology started at a very early age. I'm, I'm a big Disney fan and that was their framework for um, really immersing people is, is mixing technology with entertainment and um, it's always been a passion of mine. Uh, I've finally been able to do that with the advent of VR technology that's come about within the last five years. So I feel that this has been a, a very good time and the medium of virtual reality um, enables the ability for me to do that to really immerse people uh, in, in, a, in a with a high level of immersion um, by using that that technology by using those headsets um, and we only wish to um, work on top of that that immersion by doing all of the interactive um, immersive stuff that we're doing inside of here um, and seeing you as a full body avatar interacting with physical items in the play space and holding virtual objects and physical objects to us is just a real dream it's been a mission for us to be able to create this this level and and have people be thrilled and enjoyed um here seeing them inside of this virtual world as they come out of it is probably one of the most rewarding things um that i have in doing so so just the the look and the awe is is really uh moving yeah, yeah I, it was it was crazy so i just got to leave westchester for a little bit and jump into uh the virtual reality I went to space. What drove you towards the v, the VR world, and what did you do before VR that kind of led you into like that world? So I've always been into technology. I'm actually and uh, I was in the automotive space before this, um, and um, I actually was a, a technician. Um, so I I had a good skill set for fixing things, finding problems, right? And I knew inherently what we were creating here was, was a challenge, was, was not going to be easy. Um, so it actually became a, a, um, a personal um, desire to create something that's never been created before. 
overcoming those challenges and obstacles, those technical challenges and obstacles, which, which did take three years to do. Um, and that's, that empowered me to, to move, to, to find the solution, because I knew that at the end of, uh, you know, when, when we did find the solution at the end of the day, this was going to be something that people would thoroughly enjoy. Um, and that was really the goal and motivation behind it. Is this the only VR experience that exists in Westchester? Um, no. So other experiences are, are framed around arcades, for instance. Um, so you'll get a tethered experience. You'll probably buy online experiences that are, that are common to household use. Um, there are a few full body um, experiences, but they're not as engaging and immersive and as immersive as our experience. Um, so there are very few that do what we do to the level that we do. There are certainly none that do it with this technology. Yeah. Um, so this is, this is a very um, high level of entertainment that you will not see um, most people doing with virtual reality. Virtual reality as a whole, I would say 95% of it is done with um, either tethered headsets um, and they're, they're usually not interactive with full body. For instance, usually you'll have just uh, a hands and floating head. Um, you'll be tethered to, to a PC where you can't really have free roam. Um, you know, so, or simulators too, by the way. You'll, you'll have something where you sit in it and you might feel like you're in a roller coaster. And all those are fun, though, you know, they, they do add uh, immersive components to it. Um, and people are entertained by that. But it, I felt that that was not the greatest use case for virtual reality because um, if you're going to be inside of a virtual environment, I thought that you should actually be inside of the virtual environment, meaning not just virtually, physically. And um, it was important that you engage in that way um, so that you, you felt immersed. Uh, it's, it's, it, to me, it's a waste of, of immersion. It's a waste of entertainment if you don't go that extra yard. Um, no. Not everybody has the capacity to create full body experiences and, and custom experiences that immerse multiple people inside of one space uh, but if you can I, I just that that's the way to go um, I, I, I looking back uh, I would say that through the through the iterations of, of what we've done over time um, it, it's it was important to know that each time we achieve something like that that we always wanted to, to find something else that we could make it do it better right yep. which is really the goal for us, um, it's a never-ending process of, of higher levels of immersion or, or higher immersion, um, and that's what we do. You know, we we're looking to try and find the next best thing that will be um, immersive inside of this experience that people will really enjoy. Yeah, no, I had I had a, I had a blast. I, I didn't expect it to be what it was, which was it was really, it was really cool. What age groups are is NGR designed for? Uh, who would come here in Croton on Hudson and try this experience? So, good question, because the Edge VR was designed to be built for all age groups. This is not just a shooter. Um, you know, we don't give you a gun and ask you to shoot wave after wave of zombie, robot, or insect, right? Um, the idea here is this, this is a social experience. It's an immersive social experience where you can bring your friends, your date, your family, to work together collaboratively in a cinematic, um, story-driven experience. And we do have our, our shooters here, uh, but it is not the entire shooter. It is not the entire experience. Um, and the reason for that is we want you to be engaged in other ways, right? We have elements of puzzle in our experience. There are cinematic approaches to it. There are challenges that you have to accomplish. There are physical items that you have to interact with that actually have agency within the game. They do stuff inside of the game. All of those components are what makes this an experience, what we call an experience and not just a game. Name three of your favorite spots in Westchester. Well, that's, that's tough, but I would say that probably um, you know, being being right here in Croton, um, Sinesco has been one of my old stomping grounds. Uh, you know, uh, it just, I, I think there's, there's just too many to list. All of Westchester has been home to me. Um, I really enjoy being here. I, this community of Croton has been really special to me. Um, and I, I would just, I would say right where I stand is was where I feel most at home.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in your own business. Right. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. AJ, welcome back to. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, that was what do awesome. you think? That was awesome. Yeah, that was a awesome. yeah, good time. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Right? Not what I was expecting. You're pretty cool. Yeah. All right, excellent. Nice shot. <laughs> I'm going to do another one. All right, excellent.